breakfast time and I'm eating chips. Okay, so I made this video about why Americans eat dessert for breakfast. Two pancakes with hot syrup and butter. And in that video, I said I would share with you the non-American breakfast I've started eating if enough people commented. And let's just say enough people commented. For the past several months, I've been on this journey of inviting different breakfast traditions into my home and into my habits. And that's a hard thing to do, but I've officially done it and I want to share it with you. So I'm gonna share with you my top three non-American breakfast traditions. I wanna see in the comments if you have suggestions on other breakfasts that I could try out that I'm not mentioning here, okay? So leave those in the comments. For now, let's get into my breakfast enlightenment. First up is Japanese. I went to Japan for the first time in 2017. I was shooting an episode of Vox Borders and I had just taken a 14 hour flight. I was totally delirious. I got off the flight. I met up with my fixer in Tokyo and it was morning time and she was like, do you want to get breakfast? And I was like, yeah, sure. So we showed up to a place called Yoshinoya. Yahoo! I walk into this place, I have no idea what to order and my fixer is like, don't worry, I'll order you something. And she did and before I knew it, out came a platter that looked like this. It came with rice and miso soup and a lightly grilled salted salmon and a raw egg. Yes, a raw egg. I kind of freaked out when I saw the raw egg. I was like, why didn't they cook the egg? Isn't there salmonella in this egg? Turns out in Japan, they're just a lot better about cleanliness and quality control on their eggs, not surprisingly. And because of that, they don't worry about salmonella like we do in the United States. So it turns out you can eat a raw egg and I did and this meal turned out to be one of the best meals of my life. I ate it every day during that trip. And here I am three years later trying to reform my breakfast and where do I turn but this meal? Turns out this meal is called Tamago Kake Gohan, which basically means egg on rice and it is a very simple, traditional Japanese breakfast. To recreate this, I went to a wonderful Japanese Korean market near my home, and I went shopping for all of the goods. First thing I did was buy a rice cooker. I didn't have a rice cooker before, and I found out that a good rice cooker makes all of the difference. Second up, good salmon. I kind of just throw some soy sauce on the salmon, throw it in the oven for 12 to 15 minutes, and then wrap it up and put it in my refrigerator, and I eat it all week. So now, my mornings with Japanese breakfast mean washing some rice, throwing it in a rice cooker, pulling it out 30 minutes later, and putting on a piece of salmon, some sesame seed, sometimes an avocado, oftentimes a lot of ginger, and all topped off with this amazing Hello Kitty branded soy sauce that's like kind of a morning Tamago Kake Gohan sauce that I found at this market. It is delicious. It is unbelievably delicious to have rice in the morning. It's like salty, the salmon is salty, the ginger is amazing. I put seaweed in it sometimes. And I, like, when I'm eating that, I am just a happy, happy human. I also make a big pot of miso soup on Sundays, which is a very easy soup. You can throw like six ingredients into a pot, let it sort of simmer for a bit, and then you have miso soup for the rest of the week. Oh, and for the raw egg, I end up just taking a high quality American raw egg and whipping it into the hot rice and it's delicious. And I've been eating it for months now and I have not gotten sick, so. You can do it too. This food is so good. Next up, let's talk about Israel-Palestine. Okay, listen. Too much of my life has already been spent in the comment section of videos, reading and responding to comments on videos that I make about Israel-Palestine. Today, we're not talking about the decades-old conflict where one asymmetrical power is illegally occupying the other. Oh. Jeez, I can't, see, you can't help it. You just, you can't help it. 
Anyway, today we're talking about breakfast. I was in Jerusalem in 2016 reporting on the conflict and I was meeting up with an Israeli journalist who I'd met online, wanted to hang out with. She told me to come to a breakfast spot. So I navigated to the breakfast spot, I parked and I looked and I realized it was a hummus restaurant. Hummus for breakfast. I was a little caught off guard because in my mind hummus looked like this. It was always like the extra add-on that we would bring in a picnic and in short, I didn't understand hummus. During that trip, I had hummus of all kinds for breakfast in West Jerusalem, in East Jerusalem, with falafel, with toppings of different types of tahini, with mushrooms. Oh man, and every hummus was different and all of it was delicious. So fast forward three, four years and I'm in my breakfast crisis. I just genuinely do not want to wake up and consume dessert for breakfast. And I decide that hummus is uh, something I want to invite into my home. A little daunting, because I was like, isn't hummus super complicated to make? Turns out, it's not. Hummus is effectively just chickpeas and tahini, which is ground up sesame seed. You can soak your own chickpeas, which is incredibly cheap, or you can just buy pre-soaked canned chickpeas, however you want to do it. Basically what you're doing is combining a bunch of ingredients into a blender and just blending it up and you have hummus and you have hummus for the entire week. And it is a perfect platform to add anything to. I've been adding feta or an egg or pairing it with pickles and beautiful bread. I even tried my hand at making pita bread for the first time, which is actually a pretty simple, straightforward bread. I did it on a griddle and in the oven as well. Both were fantastic. I mean, this is just amazing food to have in the morning. It's smooth and light, but also creamy for some reason, but it's not creamy like it leaves you like wanting to take a nap. It's just, just good food. And now I make a big pot of hummus at the beginning of the week and we have it for the whole week. It stays good forever. Not actually forever, it doesn't actually stay good forever. So like don't, like don't like eat it after like two, three months. Anyway, hummus is amazing. Okay, so the last breakfast I wanna talk about today comes from Texas, but really Mexico. I mean, Texas was Mexico and Mexico was Texas and then the US stole it all. And anyway, I'm making a video about that, but let's just talk about breakfast. Last year, we were at South by Southwest in Austin as he was speaking and I was just tagging along and eating a million tacos. One morning, we walked up to this taco truck, Veracruz All Natural. Oof, just saying the name makes my mouth water. Listen, I've eaten a lot of tacos in my life. I lived in Northern Mexico for two years. I ate a lot of tacos. I continue to eat tacos whenever I'm in that region. And yet this morning, those tacos were some of the best tacos I've ever had in my life, if not some of the best pieces of food I've ever consumed. The tacos at Veracruz are called migas tacos, which is whipping scrambled eggs with corn chips, like, like crushed up corn chips. And they kind of soften, but they retain their crunch. And they just make for this delicious stuffing to a taco. You can also add al pastor, which is like pork. And oh, it's just delicious. It's usually topped with cilantro or onion. And of course, topped with your choice of delicious salsa. All of this wrapped in a freshly made thin but fatty flour tortilla. Flour tortilla, the key to a delicious breakfast taco is the flour tortilla. I'm a big fan of corn, but a flour tortilla in the morning is just amazing. This food wakes you up, it fills you up, and it just makes you happy to be alive when you're eating it. I know that sounds super dramatic, but I'm telling you, man, I have a very strong affinity to breakfast tacos. Inviting this into my home was not a hard thing to do because I've been making Mexican inspired food for many years, ever since I lived in Mexico. And what I love about it is it's simple food. It is eggs and chips and tortilla, and you could throw cheese on there and an avocado. Okay, so those are my three new staples in my life. Japanese, hummus, and breakfast tacos. I promised I'd tell you which of these is my favorite, and I have to say that Japanese takes the cake. Cake. There's something about having rice in the morning. It just, it fills you up, it stays with you for hours, and I love breakfast. Never thought I'd say it, but I freaking love breakfast.
So remember, if you haven't already, go in the comments and tell me if you have a non-American breakfast idea that I can start trying out in my life. Give as much detail or a link as possible. I would love to see what other people eat for breakfast. All of these ideas that I got came from just casual interactions with people who live in other countries who, who have different breakfast paradigms. And I hope that reading through the comments, I can get some more ideas. So thanks for watching. Hey, before you go, I want you to know about Squarespace who helped support and sponsor this video today. Thank you, Squarespace. Squarespace is a place where you can build a website or a portfolio or whatever you need to have a presence on the internet. The big thing about Squarespace is that it's easy yet elegant, meaning it takes just a few minutes to get a website going and it's incredibly customizable and yet it's beautiful looking and it's like very tastefully done. You've got all these templates to choose from and it's fantastic. Not to mention under the hood, you've got all this powerful integration like email marketing and social integration, things that are really important when you're running a business, you need them to run smoothly. Squarespace is really good at this stuff. So there's a link in my description that if you click it, it helps support this channel, but more importantly, it helps you get on your way to creating a portfolio or a website or whatever you need and to get 10% off your first purchase. So you can go get a free trial, 10% off if you go click that link. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video and thank you all for watching. I'm just gonna keep making videos and just there's a lot of stuff to make videos about. I probably should get back to it. So I'm just gonna get back to my computer and keep making videos. My computer, where's my computer? Anyone? Okay, see ya.